You are watching DIY by Nikki Foster. Hi, I'm Nikki Foster. <laughs> and on this channel, I post budget friendly and inspiring ideas. Budget friendly and inspiring ideas. And on this channel, I post budget friendly and inspiring ideas. Like this, and this, and also this. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I use the Wagner Flexio 4000 sprayer to get ultra smooth results when I first painted these dressers. These dressers were originally featured in the kids bedroom makeover video, but I did not provide the step by step process because I wanted to make a separate video. First, I want to point out that these white painted dressers are one of my first ever DIY projects that I painted by hand years ago. These dressers are brass by Ikea. They originally come unpainted. They are solid pine wood and the knobs even come with the dresser as well. So when I first did my DIY project, I used a paintbrush and that was one of my mistakes. And you can see here the paint lines on top. I also use primer and still you can see that the knots and grain variation is still coming through the wood. Just in case you're wondering, these circular dark spots are called knots and basically it forms when a tree branch has fallen off of a tree and the tree continues to grow. Pine wood has lots of these. Um, the furniture is not defective at all. It's just like that. That's just how it grows. I thought this info was really cool and helpful and I just wanted to share it with you guys. So moving on, how to get extra smooth painted dressers that are smooth like glass. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove all the hardware. I'm setting all the hardware aside and of course we'll come back to that later. Next is sanding. I know, listen guys, sanding is not one of my favorite things to do. I always try to opt for easy projects that do not require sanding because it is like my least favorite things to do. <laughs> but because I painted this dresser beforehand, it had all those uneven groove lines from the paint brush strokes. So those have to be smoothed down in order to get this really ultra smooth finish. So it is important. I'm using the Black & Decker mouse sander. I have the link to this in the description box. This part, I'm not going to lie, this part of the process does take long and my arms were on fire when I was done <laughs> and I took a few breaks in between. Here's a close up of what the dresser looks like after it's been sanded down. You can see that the glossy top coat has been sanded off and some of that natural wood color is coming through again. I'm not going to sand this down completely because it is primer and most of all my goal was just to get rid of those paint brush strokes. Next is the dresser drawers. I'm using the same method of sanding down until the paint brush strokes are super smooth. Also I made sure to sand down the edges of the dresser as well and the sides of the dresser too. I forgot to mention that with this sander it uses replacement sanding pads that are so easy to swap out. It has like velcro attachments on the outside so you literally just peel it off and put a new one on when the other one gets old. For me and the furniture I painted, this is where the magic truly happens. I'm using the Wagner Flexio 4000 sprayer. This sprayer changed the game for me when I started painting furniture. To use the sprayer, I'm using the detail finish nozzle. I add my paint and I leave a little room to add one fourth cup of water. I mix it up with a stirrer and I found that doing this helps a lot. It helps to prevent clogs and it allows the paint to come out the nozzle more evenly. Paint is water soluble and I prefer using water over paint thinner because I found the finish to be better without the smell of paint thinner. This is just my personal preference and opinion. So I laid the dressers out making sure that there was still enough space in between them so that I can paint all sides. And then when I'm using the sprayer, I'm moving my arm back and forth in an even motion so that the paint sprays on evenly. I sprayed the inside of the dresser as well, so that will be blue as also, and you guys will see that later on. I tend to do thicker layers of paint when I use the sprayer, so I let each coat dry for 30 minutes to one hour, and then I went back and did the second and third coats, making sure to sand lightly in between if there was any um, imperfections or anything like that, and then using the tack cloth in between. This is one of those things that really makes a difference uh, when painting dressers and furniture. And here's just a quick look at what the dressers look like after the first coat. Once the sides and back was done, I touched the drawers just to make sure that there were no wet spots on the outside. And then I ended up turning them over to paint the fronts and the insides more thoroughly. As I mentioned before, I like using tack cloth a lot. This is one of those things that really changed the game for me when I am painting furniture as well. So that's what I'm doing here, just wiping away any tiny particles that may have settled onto the wood. 
For the front panel of the drawers, I made sure I did the edges first to make sure I didn't forget the sides of the drawers. Those areas I feel like can be missed occasionally, so I did do that first. Then I went over the front part of the dresser drawers with the same process of that smooth, even motion. And then after the front panels were done, I went back and sprayed the inside of the drawers. And while the drawers were drying, I resprayed the hardware to gold. It was already gold, but I just sprayed it again. And I used the Rust-Oleum Talic Spray Paint. This spray paint is like literally the best to get that authentic brass look. Okay, so the dressers are done. This dresser, one of the plastic parts came out at the top. So I'm just gonna use some Gorilla Glue to put it back in there. So now I'm just going to be putting the knobs back on to all the drawers. Um, also, I wanted to mention that the hardware that I'm using did not come with the dresser. I purchased that separately from Home Depot. They are called flat brackets. Um, I basically lined them up in the corner and then drilled them in. They do come with the little screws as well, so that's really good. Also, um, I just repeat the steps for all the dressers. This part was super easy and it really upgraded the Ikea dressers for just like a couple of dollars per pack. A few other things to note is I use satin finish for the paint. I found that I like all my results a lot better when I use this finish, so I just kind of stick with that. Um, the color that I use is called Inked. Um, it is from the Bear line at Home Depot and that's it. And that is basically how I use the Wagner Flexio 4000 to achieve really smooth results when I paint furniture and it's really easy to use. These brackets were inspired by the campaign dresser. When I searched on Google to show you guys an example, the Williamson Noma version stuck out to me. It's navy blue with gold hardware just like mine, but theirs is like $2,500. This DIY version that I created is only about $115, including two IKEA brass dressers, the paint, and the hardware. And here is another version of the campaign dresser that is more like mine with the two knobs in the front versus the one knob in the middle. And here is a reminder of what the dressers looked like before. And here's how the dressers turned out. They have a super smooth, low sheen on them. The gold hardware that I used to create this Ikea hack looks great against the navy blue. A term that I've heard and I like to use to describe the finish when you use this Wagner Flexio 4000 sprayer correctly is that it leaves a smooth, even layer of paint that looks like glass. If you have any other questions or comments, feel free to drop them in the comment box below. And I hope you found this tutorial helpful and hopefully it inspired you to tackle a furniture project of your own. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more inspiring DIY tutorials like this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.